Hello, my DIY friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is another exciting episode of a channel series I love to call Love It or Thrift It. This is a series where I will be taking furniture pieces from your home that you have fallen out of love with and you're fighting this internal battle to either keep it because it's super functional or thrift it away because it's just not what you ultimately want aesthetically. You got the function, but not the aesthetic. ¿Por qué no las dos? So my goal is to take your furniture piece and make you love it again. At the end, I will present this newly transformed piece and it will be then you can finally decide if you are going to love it again or if you are going to thrift it away and find something new. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, welcome! Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join this marvelous Creative Beast community. We do all things home and DIY and sometimes we can get a bit weird, but we like weird. So with that said, Let's get flipping because I got a couple to win over. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Oh, and the screen is just so dirty. So let's chat about who we are transforming our piece for. Me, Maddie, and Mike. Oh no, and I'm put on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just make sure you're not turning red. I just love the way that their names roll off your tongue. Oh, where are you going? Maddie and Mike's. So Maddie and Mike are an adorable couple who share a very personal nerdy passion together with Lego. Or more specifically, they love to build and collect Lego sets together, which I think is rather romantic because the Lego is the building blocks to their love for each other, you know? <laughs> it just was like, hey, this is something we could do together if we get like a set. We like sit at the table and like have the instructions open and I'll do one page and she'll do the other. My biggest regret was selling my giant garbage can full of the Lego that I collected over my younger years. So whatever basically just strikes us, we're just like, yep. I want that, <laughs> we yeah. usually just go out and get it. In their living room right now, they have over 15 large Lego sets on display from funky modular buildings to Harry Potter, there's Beatles, there's Star Wars, there's Simpsons, Friends. And as a fellow nerd myself, I'm just like very excited to see this collection in person. It's cool guys, it's cool. <laughs> In between their Lego display sandwich, Maddie and Mike brought forward a very common furniture piece that many people have issues with. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Calex shelving unit. Woo! Yes, DIY friends, we are treading into well-known territory, IKEA hack territory. And let me tell you, there is nothing I want more than to take your basic everyday IKEA piece and make it more unique and personal to you. So let's do that. And I don't know who I just turned into there, but I think I went into an Ikea Western. When I say, giddy up, cowboy, it's Ikea hacking time. So let's talk about the plan. First off, I need to take into account what Maddie and Mike want out of this piece. They asked for it to be higher off the ground. They want it modernized. They don't want this piece to look Ikea, of course, and they want to keep the storage that it currently has. Now they did mention that this area, let's call it the Lego wall area, is the first thing that you see when you walk into their home. So what this tells me is that these Lego sets are super important to them as people. Because they love Lego so much, it kind of makes my noggin start running in many different directions. I mean, like, how can I make this Calax unit play into this passion, but in a fun way? There was a time I literally thought about taking real Lego and building it into this design. But then I kind of remembered Maddie saying something very important to me. I kind of had like the thought of it being a little bit more blended in, but like subtly nerdy. They just really want this furniture piece to feel like an adult furniture piece. Don't go too kitschy, don't go too nerdy. Plus, I just kind of really want to make sure that this piece elevates that space because we have a lot of real Lego on display to contend with. So if we add more Lego elements, it just might start to make it feel that kitschy vibe that I'm not going for. So I want to come up with something more elevated, kind of sophisticated, celebrate or maybe pay homage to their love of Lego. So here is what I came up with. 
First off, they had this lovely green feature wall that sat opposite to their Lego wall. I loved this earthy color and thought this would be a really fun way to bring some color over to the other side of the space and complement the wall on the other side. So we are going to paint this piece a beautiful green. Second to that, Maddie and Mike's style is very modern with a touch of industrial, I would say. So I thought it would be nice to warm up this very cool area and add doors with some stained wood just to kind of give this piece a nice two-toned look. Now to add that industrial feel, we are gonna go with some metal legs for elevation and maybe dark metal poles. But the Lego. That's me. How could we celebrate and be playful with Lego without being too on the nose about it? Then I found these amazing inspo photos that you can see here. I just got really inspired by their shapes. It was fun, it was unique, it was very modern. So I wanna use these as my inspiration, but play with Lego shaped pieces that will kind of add depth to the front of the doors. Lastly, there are always ways to paint Ikea furniture, but even to the best efforts, there's always the chance of scratches and uh, uh, I am not a gambling type of gal. So if this piece is going to act as a buffet sideboard style piece for them, I have to assume items like this will be placed on top. So with that, I'm going to be adding a piece of smoked glass to the top that's going to look super fancy, but also keep their piece protected. So that's my general idea. Fingers crossed that, that this is going to look as good as I think it will in my head. It's always a bit of a toss up and it makes me very nervous, but we're gonna do it. So let's go to the she shack. Woohoo! We have a Calyx unit. I mean, all things considered, I think this thing is in pretty good shape. And they came with these four little inserts. So that's really awesome because we're actually going to be using these inserts to our advantage. And I will explain why later. But first of all, we need to clean this down. We need to take those inserts out and we need to say in this bad boy. Let's do it. and I am officially human being again. <laughs> it was starting to melt, it's a real thing. But let's talk about prepping your Ikea piece for painting because Ikea furniture is notorious for being unpaintable and that's because of the melamine material. It'll scrape off if you don't actually prep it properly. So what you need is a really good primer. I normally go for the bin. This is a shellac based primer and it has worked for me in the past really well. However, I recently connected with some creator friends, Lindy and Russ from Love Create Celebrate and they taught me about a new type of primer that I'm gonna give it a go. So this is the Extreme Bond Primer. This is a Sherwin-Williams brand and apparently based on their testing. So they had a whole video on all types of primers and paints and this one won. So I'm like, I'm gonna trust them. We're gonna give this a go today. I feel good about it. With that said, it's time to Optimus Prime. <laughs> I just let the first coat dry and I gotta show you guys this. I'm really impressed with this primer because check this out. I am really trying and it ain't scratching. Nothing's coming up. I am impressed. Dries super fast. It feels rough to the touch so you know that that paint's gonna stick to it. And five stars from Danny. It's time to paint. You guys wanna see the color? Well, you've already seen the color, but see the color in real life. This isn't real. This is called Messenger Bag. Whoa, boy, she's massive. Oh my God. I feel nervous about this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I hope that this is is the color on their accent wall because I feel like this isn't quite as green, but like I'm trusting that color code. I think that this is gonna look great. Let's get painted. Okay, DOA friends, 
It looks so good. It honestly looks like it was meant to be this color and it just looks so slick, so professional. I'm just feeling really good about this so far. So while we were waiting for the paint to dry and doing a few coats, we've actually started some math stuff in the kitchen. Um, I'm trying to figure out the sizing of what all of the Lego pieces that are gonna go on to the doors are gonna be. So hopefully by tomorrow, I will know what the design is so we can get started on the wood pieces. Let's hope this noggin is working the way it should. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Good morning. So this morning I really just wanted to get the new feet hardware onto this piece just so that I can stand it up and then it can just ride on the feet for the rest of the time. I actually ended up getting these feet from a place called Pretty Pegs. They actually make custom furniture legs and custom furniture fronts for Ikea furniture. So go check this out. But I got these beautiful black industrial legs. Very excited about this. This kit comes with a bracket that I have to install first and then and it makes it very easy to add these bad boys on. So let's install them. Check this out. The black metal legs just look amazing with this color. I'm so happy with this decision. <sighs> feeling good. Next thing we need to do is we're going to start building out the doors. So we are going to be building custom doors and I'm going to do this with three quarter inch plywood. So I'm going to go head out to the she shack. We're going to start measuring up our boards. Soon enough, we'll have some doors cut. So let's do it. <laughs> Well, I hope you're here to apologize. We have all our doors. Not, uh, not much yet, but it's gonna be something eventually. So what I wanna do now is start working on the actual Lego decorative pieces that are gonna sit on the front. Yesterday, I sat down with Holly and we kind of worked through all of the correct sizes and that was a bit tricky, not gonna lie, but I think we figured it out. So I am gonna be spending a lot of time measuring and cutting out different Lego sizes to make all of these decorative pieces. I didn't want to go with anything too thick. So I actually ended up sourcing this quarter inch plywood here. So I'm going to measure these out and hopefully we can just cut strips, lots and lots of strips to the sizes that we need and then just start cutting them off. I think I'm going to need about 40 of each design. I know, better get going. Yes, I'm looking at a non-watch. Okay, let's go cut some Lego shapes. Woo, camera high five. Okay, friends, some time has gone by and that's because I had to turn the camera off. You know, one of those things where it's like, as soon as you turn the camera on, everything just goes to hell. <laughs> well, well, finishing something? I was really afraid of messing up the door. So I was like, okay, I have four doors. I'm gonna go figure out two, do it calmly off camera, and then we will do the last two together once I feel supercharged and like I got a hold of this. It did take me a while. I also had to tweak my plan a little bit. So let me show you what I did. In order to make this work the way that I wanted it to, the doors kind of had to have a different way of opening. It would have been ideal to have two sides and the two sides open up together in tandem. However, it just, didn't work that way because there's not enough space on the middle for the hinge to make that work. So what I did was I make this one open like that and then this one opens like this. This one is going to open in tandem with this guy and then the last one will open up kind of like this one at the end here. It wasn't my original plan but I do think that this is going to work. But let me show you what I did and then we are going to do the last two together on camera <laughs> now that I figured it out. And I'm less stressed about it. I ended up having to cut the door down to a quarter inch. So it ended up being 13 and I think 13 and three quarters. I will put the right measurement on camera. So what I did was I added the original Ikea insert into here. Why I use the insert is because it already has all of the holes for the hardware. So I don't have to do
do any guessing. So by popping these back in, I actually just shuffle them right to the edge here, put in my holes, and then I, I just basically recreated the hardware using a Forstner bit. I will show you this later. I essentially re-drilled some holes into my new door using the pre-existing hardware. And I just did this on both sides and this allowed me to create a door. Honestly, the way that I feel about this, I just defeated Bowser and it feels really good. <laughs> Creating doors and door hinges, they frustrate me to no end and there's always something about every door. So I feel very, very powerful right now. Let's go do the last two doors together. I will show you all the steps I took and let's put some doors on this cabinet. All right, let's go. Just kidding, I didn't wanna leave you behind. Let's go. Oh dear, the bangs are messy. <laughs> I just got the doors finished. They do need some finessing. What I'm going to do is edge band all of the edges. So I do need to give this a little bit more clearance. So I'm gonna take a saw blade off of each side, but let me take you over here because behind the scenes, Holly's been working really hard to make the Lego pieces. You wanna see them? Okay, check this out. Look at this. I went and sourced all of these little one and a quarter inch wood rounds. Um, these came from Michael's. They came in like little round kits and she has been starting the gluing of all of the Lego pieces. Just seeing it like this is so cool. But check this out. Once you bring this over here, look at that. And then you're putting these on here and then they're each gonna be in different spots, but there is going to be cohesion to it um, because there'll be proper gapping, proper spacing. So it'll still look nice to the eye. I am so excited with the way that this project is turning out. I think it looks so cool. I have a lot of gluing to do. Like this needs to be done tonight to make my deadline. So I will be watching a lot of anime <laughs> and we are just gonna be gluing wood circles to squares all night long. Okay, wish me luck friends. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. So today is an exciting day and you want to know why? Because we're going to finish this project. No hiccups, no problems, no errors, just fun DIY, flawless energy and perfect execution. All I'm asking for is total perfection. I have the doors on here. We need to take the doors off. We need to get these sanded up. We're gonna edge band them and make the edges look really nice and professional. On top of that, we have all of our Lego. These need to get stained up. So I'll show you the stains we have. We have dark walnut or special walnut. Ooh, <laughs> my gut's going towards dark walnut, but you guys know I always end up going back to the special walnut. It's because you're special. So Holly's probably gonna start staining all of these behind the scenes while I get going on all of the doors. We're gonna tag team this and we're gonna get it done. So let's get going. Slap the table. This is gonna be a dope project. I just know it.
We are done the doors, but now we gotta clean this up, get these inside, clean them down, and then we can put a finish on it. And then we're gonna finish this up. Woohoo! Okay, I think these look amazing, but I need to do multiple coats, so this has to dry. But while we're waiting on this to dry, I wanna show you guys the last element to this entire project, and that's the glass top. So I have it here. So we're gonna pop it on top just to see what it looks like. Here's hoping we measured right. Oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, that like kind of gives it a really like polished look. This is gonna look so good. I think we're basically there, guys. So at this point, I'm pretty sure we can get to tomorrow where we're gonna finally reveal this to Maddie and Mike. Are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Okay, friends, I just got to Maddie and Mike's. We got Josh here with us. I'm so excited. Also terrified to move this piece in. Let's do this! We are in the apartment. We have the thing. I haven't actually opened it yet because I'm terrified. I just need to know it got here safely. But the good news is, check this green wall out. Look at that wall. So nice to bring that green over here. And okay, finally got in the space. This Lego sets are so cool. Oh my God, I've just been like geeking out. Look, it's Maddie and Mike sitting right there. It says player one, player two. <laughs> let's get this unwrapped, let's get the feet on it, and let's get it in place because I am dying to see what this looks like. <laughs> I hope they love it. You came to me because you had a regular Ikea Kallax. Everyone has it. You wanted something very personalized to who you are. You happen to just love Lego. You build together. It's such a wonderful <laughs> story. So I wanted to give you guys something very customized, something very unique to you two. So are you ready to see your brand new Ikea Kallax unit? Yes. <laughs> okay, on three. One, two, three. Oh my God. Wow. That is incredible. Wow. I, I am stunned. It's not the same thing. Not even what I expected, but it's like so much better. Yeah, honestly, this is my favorite piece of furniture we have now. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. There is a caveat. Okay. I happen to have a hundred dollars right here and a person willing to buy this right now. So I ask you, are you going to love it or are you going to thrift it? Well, no question, we're love gonna love it. it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad! Well, I think that was a successful DIY project. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Love It or Thrift It. What did you guys think of this Calax flip? Would you do this to your piece at home? Comment down below. Let me know what would you change? Would you change the color? Would you do something cooler on the doors? Of course, a big thank you to all of my patrons, my DIY family who have been rooting me on from the behind the scenes. If you wanna check out my Patreon, it is linked down below. If you have a piece at home that you've fallen out of love with and you live in the Toronto area, I have put the link in my description box. Go click that, check it out, and apply to be on the show. As always, my friends, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.